You've been fighting. You think it was you? Them two have been fighting. Hi guys and welcome back to the Herd Wave. So today what I wanted to talk to you about is the nitrogen cycle. I wanted to make this video because my store a lot of people come in, a lot of new fish keepers come in, they don't understand the nitrogen cycle, which is a new fish keeper we quite don't understand thinking well clean water isn't that the key clean water what are your water parameters like what is your testing are you testing your water testing for what what am i what am i testing for it looks clean it looks nice the gravels are nice the plants are arranged all nice whether that be artificial plants or whether that be live plants they all look really good hmm but what does your water parameters say break it down first three areas that you want to be looking at is ammonia, nitrite and nitrate. Ammonia. What is ammonia? It's basically fish poo and food. Honey and food. <laughs> That's what it is. Good. No, no, no. We don't like that. Bye, bye, bye. Very toxic for your fish. It's classed as poo water quality, basically. We don't want that. But you say, well, got ammonia in my tank how do I get rid of that ammonia bacteria so you're probably thinking bacteria virus ah, no 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 bad 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 that's not the case virus is a single cell structure bacteria is a complex cell structure lots of things that go into bacteria and you can have what's called beneficial bacteria which is what lives inside of our aquarium and it grows and that's what we want in our fish tanks and the first part of this is to break down your ammonia is you have beneficial bacteria so it's like having this tiny little cleanup crew that comes in microscopic that you can't see coming in and cleaning your tank for you yeah, right. <laughs> clean my tank please what that's doing is breaking down your ammonia breaking down your fish poo your fish food uneaten fish food, anything like that that's in your tank that's going to break that down and take it into night right now night right you might think yay right no night right is wrong too <laughs> night right is also toxic not as toxic as ammonia but it is still very toxic for your fish it can still cause um gill problems the issues with your fish another silent killer is night right and we want to get rid of that too have another little helper and a little tiny cleanup crew that comes in and changes our night right into night rate which is what we can control which is what we want this is all in your aquarium so the life of your aquarium the nitrogen cycle and it's it's a never-ending process once it gets going this is this is the issue that we have this is a problem that beginner fish keepers have. No matter how many tanks you have, you still need to know what your water parameters is. You also need to know how many litres the tank is, but that's a totally different thing. So what happens after this? That's where you come in. What changes? Very unfortunately, there isn't another source of bacteria that would want to change your aquarium. 20% of your tank, that's what you need to do every week. If your tank's running fine, twenty percent water change should take care of it. So what effectively you were doing is you were diluting that nitrate into a less toxic substance for your fish. You can also add plants in. Live plants feed on the nitrate and help reduce it, which is what you want. Ideally, you don't want to be anything over thirty parts per million. I feel comfortable when it's twenty. But anything, when you get to 40, you're like, ooh, ooh, what change? You do what change? And it also depends on the size of your fish tank. It depends on how many fish you have in your fish tank. And it also depends on what kind of fish you have in your fish tank. This is half done, by the way. This is my new setup. It's my new front water tank. Um, it's not quite finished. <laughs> Ran out of wood. <laughs> but it will be finished soon. But it's a work in progress. And these guys are happy. 
on the fighting, but they're happy. And they're coming off a little worse though. It's really important to have good water quality, especially with these guys. They do tend to fight and rip each other and get cuts and scrapes and grazes. Or sometimes take chunks out of each other. If you have bad water quality, that's going to stress them out. Be prone to diseases. It all starts with water quality. My number one thing is water quality. And getting good water is the first step in understanding the nitrogen cycle. Which I hope I did that today. I hope I helped you understand it a little bit more.